What is happening, people? Today, I'm going to teach you how to make pom fret. Basically, um, the best way to cook a pom fret, in my view, is to fry it. A pom fret is also known as rupchada in Bengali. After you've descaled the fish, what you're going to need to do is make a few cuts on top of the fish. Make sure you don't cut all the way into the fish. Um, this is this is just so that all the flavors actually get inside the fish. The spices I'm using today are one tablespoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, and a pinch of uh, well, well, a couple of pinches of um, black pepper, and one tablespoon of salt, and around I would say half a cup of mustard oil. After that, mix very well. Now with all that juicy spice, marinate the fish all the way and make sure it goes into the cuts that we've made earlier. And then you're gonna leave the marinated fish for around an hour, just so the fish can absorb all that goodness. I promise you this recipe will make the fish taste amazing. It won't be too spicy, neither will it be too dull. It's best to use a non-stick pan for the next process. Now onto the pan, pour around two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. After the oil becomes really hot, you're gonna put your pom fret fishes inside and then fry it on each side for around four minutes. Maybe it might take longer, maybe it might take a uh, little less time depending on how good your cooker is. It's best to cook it in a way where the fish is crunchy on the outside and a little bit soft on the inside so that the fish stays juicy, really, really juicy inside and it just doesn't dry out. These fishes, they tend to break a little bit too easily. So while you're flipping your fish over, make sure you be careful. Also try not to overcook your fish because it's just gonna make it too dry. The cuts that we've made, made uh, onto the fish, that also helps um, the fish cook a bit faster. After your fish has finished frying, you're gonna remove it, put it onto another plate. Using the same oil, I'm going to caramelize three sliced onions. When caramelizing the onions, make sure to caramelize it until it turns a, a bit dark golden brown. After it's fully caramelized, now add in your spices. I'm using half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, and one full teaspoon of curry powder. I'm also using one teaspoon of coriander powder. Now mix well and then add one teaspoon of tomato paste. And then after that you're going to add a half a cup of warm water. And then afterwards let it caramelize for a few minutes. After you've stirred it for a little while, add one teaspoon of salt. Now add a couple of sliced green chilies. And then add all the vegetables that you want to use. You can use green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers. I wouldn't go too extravagant with vegetables. I mean, this is the best way to cook it. And then also make sure to add some sliced onions and then to, to top it off, add some really really finely chopped garlic I'm also adding some habanero 
because I really really like my food spicy. Now keep on stirring until you think the vegetables are done. The tomato should be a little bit soft and the green pepper should be a little bit soft as well. Don't forget to add some black pepper. When everything's fully cooked, add your pomfret onto the pan and then gently, just gently stir it. Turn the fish over, put all the flavouring on top of the fish so that the fish actually absorbs everything. Now cook it further for a few minutes and then enjoy. Please don't forget to like, share and please subscribe.